Ahoy, adventurers! Welcome to Saigon, Vietnam. Because this was our first time in Vietnam, we decided to start our adventures in the more westernized city. We stayed in Huang Sun Hotel, which is located in District 1. The location is very close to many of the main attractions and is comfortable for first-time visitors. We loved our hotel. The staff was kind, it cost only $25 a night, and it came with a decadent complimentary breakfast every morning. We stayed for three days, which was the perfect amount of time to see all the main sites and eat good food. In Saigon, you can really see the French influence. Across Notre Dame is a Saigon Central Post Office. Here you can see Gothic, Renaissance, and French design. Our guru walking tour guide told us a beautiful story about a man who used to work here, and we later returned to send postcards to our families back home. Next to the post office is the Ho Chi Minh Book Street. This is a great place to go and peruse books, look at local artist paintings, walk around, and enjoy a coffee. Ten minutes from here is the War Remnants Museum. We highly recommend going to this museum. It showcases the atrocities that the people of Vietnam had to face during the war, as well as showcasing the resilience of the Vietnamese people. For many of us, it was a very emotional and moving experience. Five minutes from the museum is the Independence Palace. It's where the president works and you can visit the inside of it for free. On our way home, we ran into this beautiful painting store. All the paintings were amazing and quite affordable. If you're into shopping and fashion, then we highly recommend checking out the new playground. There are a variety of vendors with unique clothing and style that you can purchase at an affordable price. So far, the main attractions I've mentioned are in District 3, but here we are in the center of District 1. This plaza holds a variety of attractions, and to us it felt like a miniature version of Times Square. You have the City Hall, Ho Chi Minh statue, and other historical buildings. It's a great way to feel the busyness of the city. The reason for Saigon's modern city is its transportation system via the river that runs through the entire city. Just five minutes from Ho Chi Minh's statue is the river. Not only were we able to see the entire city laid out in front of us, but it was quite romantic to view as well. After following the river for a bit, we ran into Chang Hong Dao's monument. He is known as a historic military leader. Due to the heat, we did most of our exploring during the evenings. This included exploring Bui Vien Walking Street. It's the ideal place to party and experience nightlife as well as different restaurants. Pro tip when crossing the street, avoid eye contact with the driver and keep walking. They'll just go around you. Whenever we travel, we try to see live music. Instead of walking, we call it a grab. It's essentially the same as an Uber, but a lot cheaper. Now that we've talked about some main sites to see, 
we're gonna dive into the most exciting part about traveling, food. In Vietnam, there are many street vendors to check out, as well as beer to drink. We highly recommend Ba 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 Bia, as it's affordable and tasty. When eating the street food in Vietnam, it's common to be sitting in tiny chairs and tiny tables like so. Overall, we found the food to be very fresh, very affordable, and very delicious. Our favorite meal by far was bun thuc nung. It's a dry noodle dish consisting of cold rice noodles, fish sauce, grilled pork, bean sprouts, pickled carrots, fresh herbs, peanuts, and deep fried spring rolls. In the description box, we link the place that we went to. Of course, we also had to try pho, which came with yu tao, Chinese donuts, and spring rolls. Another popular snack is bun cai. This consists of steamed pork wrapped in glutinous rice cakes and a banana leaf. Something else Vietnam is also known for is their coffee. One of the places we really liked was called The Workshop. We like the modern style and view of the workshop. We decided to order the mix arabica and got it siphoned. <laughs> the siphon immersion method produces a superior taste without boiling the coffee and it is known for producing some of the best coffee. We love watching them set up their little contraption. It was so good. Thank you for joining us in Saigon Adventures. Stay tuned for our next Vietnam episode featuring Hanoi.